Welcome. Happy Monday, everybody. Today, we're having a great, great topic that I'm very excited about. We're going to be talking about whether you are feeling self-confident um, when you act, whether you're a confident actor and um, and what to do about it and what, to, what not to do about it. And I'm sorry, I'm laughing because I just can't wait for this live. I'm just very excited. So I happen to know the best actress in the entire world. And I'm not even kidding. I happen to know the best actress in the entire world. And I have invited her for our live today. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tiger Leal. All right, come this way. Let me introduce Tiger Leal. And she is the best actress in the world that I know. And why is this important? Stay tuned because it's going to be a different kind of live. But so, Tiger, hi. How are you doing? Hi. What are you doing home? Oh, I live here. You live here? And why are you not at school? It's because I love you too much. Because you love me too much. But what, what, did, what did you say this morning? Did you say that this morning, or did you say something else? I don't know. You don't know? When I said, it's time to go to school, what did you say this morning? Uh, 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 I think I'm feeling too sick. Yeah, you said you were feeling too sick. So that was acting, right? Yeah, and I believed you. Yeah, and you were crying and everything, and you were saying that you were too sick to go to school, right? How do you do that? I don't know. What's your trick for acting? I don't know. And what's your trick for crying? I don't know. You don't know. So Tiger is a wonderful actress. She can fool even me. She can tell me she's sick. She can cry. And even I believe her. And when I ask her how she did it, she doesn't even know. And sometimes I watch her and she's playing with her little characters and her Play-Doh and her toys. And she's playing. And horses. And horses. She's definitely acting. And how do you do it, Tiger? It's because I'm a kid and I like them. You like them. I'm going to underline that a couple of times. She likes her characters, right? So I had another question, Tiger. Are you self-confident? What does that mean? Yeah. Tiger does not know what it means to be self-confident, right? So that's why I wanted Tiger to be with us today, because our conversation is about being self-confident. And we all know that the kids are the best actors in the world. They play all day long. Tiger plays all day long, whether she's at school or whether she's at home. She's acting with her little characters. She's acting with her mother, telling her that she's sick and that she cannot go to school. She's crying real tears and telling me that she's sick and that she cannot go to school. And it's all acting. And did she go to an acting class? Did you ever go to an acting class? No. Is she self-confident? She doesn't even know what it means. The only thing that Tiger answers is that she likes doing it. Right, Tiger? Yeah. What else? What's another trick that you use for acting? Is there anything else we need to know? Because you're the, you're the teacher now. You're the coach. You're the acting coach. How do you do it? I don't know. You can say that you don't know. That's fine. Uh, uh, let's do some work. Let's do some work. What are, what are you going to do? What kind of work are you going to do with them? Okay, I don't know. You don't know. That's perfect. So that's where I wanted to get. Tiger does not know how she does it. And yet, she's the most amazing actress. She can fool me and she can play with her toys all day. Yes, you can keep it. Then you can cook without them. The big coach and the big Actually, actress is going. Stay. Oh, you want to stay. Okay. So, the reason I brought in Tiger is because in traditional approaches to acting, I'm going to talk a little bit right now, and then when I'm done, you can 
say some other things. And in the meantime, if you want, you can draw or you can go play. So what I wanted to say, let's get into the meat of this topic, is that most um, traditional approaches to acting say that you have to be self-confident before you act. You have to be self-confident when you walk into an audition, in a casting office, with an agent. What? No, not about you, no. Um, and actually, that is not the way we see it. In the work that um, we do, we actually talk about being present, but not about being confident. Because confidence is something that our society, that our conditioning, taught you about how to look good and how to look strong and how to look like you've got your shit together. But it has actually nothing to do with truth. It has nothing to do with being interested in your character. It has nothing to do with the moment. It has to do with faking. It has to do with pretending. It has to do with looking good. And none of those things are presence in the moment. Presence, however, has to do with you being here and you br bringing your uniqueness to every moment, every imaginary circumstance, every story, every character that you're embodying. If you're bringing you the moment, your presence, then you're bringing something different that no one else has, right? And then if you do that, Tiger, the phone might fall, so it might not work. So again, I know that you might be feeling um, sensations of fear when you act, you might be feeling sensations of nerves, and so you've been taught in traditional acting class that you actually want to numb that and repress that and be strong and look good and be confident like you've got your shit together. But when you do that, you're actually putting a lid on your truth, you're repressing your emotions, you're repressing what you have really going on that has to do with the moment, that has to do with the story, that has to do with the character that you could bring to the moment and the character and the circumstances and the story that would make it so unique. Which is again why you put an adult and a child on a stage and where will the audience look? Everyone will look at the child and no one will ever look at the adult because the child is still alive, not trying to look good, not trying to look interesting. They're just being interested in what they're doing, right? And that's a very big distinction. So I'm going to repeat that. The child is interested in what they're doing. They're interested in their characters, in the moment. And they, and they mostly see parents. So now they, um, they mostly look... Um, see kids. When they play, they mostly see kids, and when they don't play, they don't. They don't. They only see the parents. Correct. So what what Tiger is saying, if I translate, is that when kids are playing, they're involved in their own world, and they're not seeing. They're not being present to the parents. They're not paying attention to whether it works, to whether it's 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 working for them, to whether it pleases the parents. I have never seen any kids gather before they start a game where they act different characters, where they sit and discuss and brainstorm about how they're going to play it in a way that would make sense. They just do it because they love doing it, right? It's the love of the moment, the love of the, of the character, the love of throwing yourself in the circumstances, the playing, the being there in the moment and doing as many takes as possible. You will notice when you watch a child playing that they are doing the same scene all the time over and over and they don't get burned out and they're not worried about not doing it as intensely because they're only worried about their own moment, their own pleasure, their own interest. They're not trying to be interesting. When you're trying to be self-confident, what happens is that you're trying to manipulate the outcome. You're not in the moment. You're in the outcome. You're in the future. You're in the result. You're manipulative. You're trying to be seen well. You're trying to be loved. You're trying to be liked. You're trying to be booked. So you're busy trying to sell yourself, which has nothing to do with your art, which is all about being authentic, about being truthful, about being in the moment, about being free, about being instinctive, right? So the work we do in our community is to actually help actors go back to this place 
where you were actually still interested in the moment for your own benefit because it was pleasurable to you because it was interesting to you rather than trying to be interesting to others and when you do that you are most alive you are most open you are most present and therefore you book so there's two ways right you're here and then acting is there and you could take that route where you're trying to to manipulate everything and you're trying to get here before even living that route you're trying to just get to understand what people are expecting of you you're trying to manipulate the way they see you you're trying to look good to look confident look strong look like you know your stuff but you're not actually living the moment which is where they could actually see you that's the moment that you're connected to yourself to your truth if you're connected they can see you if you're not connected to your truth, to what's really happening inside of you, they cannot see you because you're not even there. You're trying to be manipulating the next moment in the future, the result, the booking, the liking, the being loved. And they can't see you when you do that because you just left the room and you're trying to manipulate the moment that hasn't arrived. So it's completely delusional to do that and to think that that could possibly be better than you being present in the moment and interested, right? So again, the work that we do in our community is we focus on presence, never on confidence. We don't want anyone to be confident because that's a generic mask that everybody looks to feel safe and to be liked. It has nothing to do with truth. It's not fulfilling for you. It's not impactful in the story. It's not impacting your character. It's not impacting an audience. It's not by being self-confident that you will move an audience. It's by being truly human by being okay with what you feel freely and feeling it and letting it express and ooze out of you like kids do again right when i'm asking tiger how does she do it to be so convincing and so in the moment and to have the tears and to pretend she's sick even though she's not well she doesn't know because she's just interested in the moment and in that story that she's telling so much that she's not trying to figure out how she's going to do it She's actually not thinking of the outcome. She's really interested. She's not trying to be interesting. And that's actually the first thing that we do in the, in the work that we do, which is undoing work. We undo all of those mechanisms that make you think ahead, that make you control, that make you want to know how you're going to do a scene without actually being in the scene yourself. All the mechanisms that make you manipulate a scene is what we undo, we shed, we break, we melt, we remove, right? We go through. That's the work we do. So that you can then find that instinct again. So that you can then find that thrill, that thirst, that interest in the moment, which is infinite, like infinite energy that you have all the time when you do that, right? And then we muscle that to make it really consistent, reliable, so that even in pressured environments, when you have last minute auditions or tapes with a lot of pressure, a lot of text, the name actors, name directors, like big, big pressure on you, your <laughs> instrument is still reliable because we've trained your instinct and your freedom to be there. Yes, I think Coach Tiger has to add something. What do you want to add, Tiger? Can you just me to try something? Can you go and want to tell me this? I'm done, so I, I'm going to stop this and I'm going to be with you, okay? Oh, and can I keep this? Mm, for a little bit, because I'm going to need it. Do you want to say goodbye to everybody? Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. If you're interested, we have some free resources, how to go from good to great, which you'll find in the link in the bio or in the about section if you're on the Facebook group. Grab that so that you can start already the undoing work in order to find yourself and act from a place of truth and of real interest and not trying to be interesting. And um, yeah, let us know if that makes sense for you, if you want more info, if you want to start a conversation with us, we can do that in the comments. Okay, thank you guys. Bye.